What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a Glaceon team for Ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Glaceon, I absolutely love this evolution, considering it came out in Generation 4, and Generation 4 is one of my all-time favorites. But let's talk about this Pokemon a little bit. It's rocking Snow Cloak as its ability. To raise its evasiveness in the snow, it's got choice specs as item, making it do a big chunk of damage. Got the water terror type with blizzard, freeze dry, chilling water, and a lowering voice. We got two stab moves, we got chilling water to pair up with our terror type, and then we got a nice little fairy type coverage move. Absolutely love it. Our restricted Pokemon on today's team going to be Mirror Rhydon, top tier when it comes to Regulation G with Hadron Engine, Assault Vest, Electro Drift, Dragon Pulse, Volt Switch, and Snarl. Our final four on this squad is going to be Ogre Pond, Cornerstone Ogre Pond to be exact, Incineroar, Landorus, and Ninetales. Ninetales is going to be able to pair up with Glaceon really well and set Aurora Bales. Landorus is going to be a great special attacker, and then Incineroar Ogre Pond. Nice little physical attackers, but obviously Incineroar can do, you know, intimidates and fake outs, all that good stuff. Typical Incineroar stuff. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Glaceon in Regulation G. Going up against a Kyogre squad here in match number one, they also have Volboom. So they got Terrain Control and Weather Control. We're going to be bringing in our Weather Control and our Terrain Control Pokemon. So it's going to be a little bit of a war right here. Terrain slash Weather War here for match number one. But who should I lead? I definitely want to bring in Ninetales. I definitely want Glaceon. I definitely want Miraidon. Who should my fourth Pokemon be? And which two should I lead? Um, my fourth Pokemon could be Incineroar. I mean, they got a few physical attackers with Rollboom and Incineroar. But, um, hmm, Ogre Pond could be solid. Same thing with, like, Lando. Who do I want to lead here? I could just lead my Weather. I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to do that. You know what? We are going to do that. Actually, no, because you're slower. We're going to lead Glaceon alongside of Miraidon. And then we'll bring Ninetales. And then last but not least, I'm thinking Cornerstone Ogre Pond, but I'm kind of leaning towards the Genie here as well. Because, I mean, the Genie's going to be super effective onto a few. It's Ground-type moves going to be super effective onto Incineroar. Um... And Raging Bolt, which is good news for us. On top of that, you got Sludge Bomb to deal with Volboom and Grimmsnarl. You know what? Yeah. We like you. We do like you. Let's lock that in. Alright, so this one's just going to be legit a uh, a Terrain Slash Weather War. So we're going to see some swaps. We might be a little bit slower pace played unless somebody gets the upper hand. And they can really just start uh, getting after it. But I could definitely see him leading like Grimmsnarl here early on. Just to kind of get things going, right? Screens, all that good stuff. But if they lead weather, we're just going to hard swap it right away and just start attacking Kyogre. Let's see. It is going to be Kyogre Grimmsnarl. Okay. So Kyogre Grimmsnarl comes out here. We do have terrain. Um, do they swap in a roll boom? Maybe. Do we just double down into Kyogre here? We could. We could go freeze dry into Electro Drift. We could because my Pokemon should be faster. Unless you're choice. Unless you're choice, right? You're pretty fast, aren't you? 187. You're 100. Again, I could change weather, or I could just straight up attack. Because again, you could put up screens here. I think we just straight up attack. I think we just go into a freeze dry here. I mean, we might just Volt Switch Pivot. I think we just Volt Switch Pivot. That's going to be my play. Nice little Volt Switch Pivot here. Because again, we're gonna out we're not we're not only going to outspeed. We're going to be able to do some nice damage. Then we can swap and have me ride out in the back end just for terrain control later. Because they could swap into Robo here. They end up just smartly protecting. Smart play. What are you doing with Grimmsnarl? You spirit breaking? No, you're setting up a late screen. That ain't bad. That ain't a bad turn for him. Now he kind of reads out what we're doing. He might even swap. He might even swap Kai over here. After seeing what's going on. So he has late screen out and about. Um, I definitely want to freeze dry this slot again. Do I Volt Switch Pivot again? I think Volt Switch Pivot might be our best play. I'm going to Volt Switch Pivot. I'm going to get on out of here. I'm going to do the same exact turn as last time. Again, they could read me doing the same exact turn. That wouldn't be bad, but I mean, I think we're fine with this. Because we're going to see a nice little Terror type come out from Kyogre here. And what are you going into? Grass, maybe? You are going into Grass. 
which isn't bad. I mean, we get the change up weather. Free try can still do some nice damage onto that. I know light screen is out and about, which is kind of annoying. But I'm going to be able to do like negative six damage and change up weather at the same time. That's not too bad. And plus I have snow cloak. So is there a chance that we dodge like this water spout or whatever he's throwing at us? I'm curious. I am curious. So we got out our nine tails. I could set up a war veil next turn, which could be awesome. Could be really good for us. And Origin Pulse is going to fly. And for some reason, my Glaceon does not dodge, which is kind of upsetting, to be honest. Freeze Dry now flies with the Choice Specs, doing amazing damage. Getting rid of this Kyogre with a critical hit. My girl Glaceon getting after it. Add a girl, Glaceon, taking out the Kyogre. All right, so we have Miraida in the back end. If I can set up a War Veil here, we can really be sitting in a good spot. But he's doubling down to nine tiles, which sucks. But we do survive. We do survive. We do survive. So now they don't have Terror type. We have Terror type. I wonder who they bring out. That's the real question. That'd be the real question. Is it a fake out user? It might be. It is a fake out user. So they can just fake out my nine tails, which I think they're going to do. We might as well just protect it, right? We might as well just protect it. So I'm just going to go into a freeze right here and I'm just going to protect you. Because again, I can't really be faked out here. I kind of have to just protect the turn and then get off this, uh, this war veil. But if I had to guess, I would think that the last Pokemon would be Rillaboom, but maybe they didn't bring Rillaboom, considering I have two Ice-type Pokemon. But Freeze Dry flies here, actually doing nice damage on the Grimstrong. That's really good damage. And Knockoff's going to fly over here, and I'm dodging this attack all day. Nice little dodge with the Snow Cloak. We love it. We love it. And then I block the other shot. So cool, now I can get off a War Veil. Um, I'm just going to go into another Freeze Dry to deal with this Grimstrong, just start slowly chipping up damage. And we'll go from there. So a War Veil should be set up here pretty easily. I mean, I don't think they have any move that can just first turn priority. No. Yeah, cool. So a War Veil out and about. We get a couple turns of that. Dope. Awesome. So you get you get Light Screen. I get a War Veil. We'll take that. The Freeze Dry going to keep chipping up damage on the Grimstar. Still doing great damage. And on top of that, we get the Freeze. Glaceon's the RNG queen right now. RNG queen right now. You are going to take off my choice specs, which does allow me to go for Chilling Water. Which isn't bad. And of course this thing just thaws out. Like, come on now. Like, freeze is the worst status condition I've ever seen. Like, it, it's like, it's so low. It has such a low chance of happening. And then they just thaw out right away. But from here, I could just go into you. And just start earth powering away. Um, I kind of want to save my Miraidon. Is that's, that's my real thing. I really just want to save Miraidon. Just in case they do have that roll boom. But I do not have my choice specs in me, which really hurts me. But I can now go into Chilling Water if I want to. It will lower attack stat. And I'm just going to come across here with the Sands here. So I'm hoping that we land both, right? And they just cancel match. So Glaceon thriving out here in match number one. We pick up a big time win. Moving on to our second match. Your boy is sitting 1-0. and And something I notice here is their only way of weather control is going to be Women's Scott with potentially Sunny Day, right? I mean, yeah, it's got to have Sunny Day considering they have... Fluttermain, and they also have Raging Bolt, but Ice Rider Kylox is going to be the restricted Pokemon. Looking a little scary, we might want to bring in Ninetales for, like, back-end support here. That is something I do like, but who should I potentially lead here, right? I could go Miraidon. They do not have any way of terrain control, which is actually pretty big for us, so going into Miraidon is going to be great. I think they might lead Incineroar, so I might just want to go into Lando here. Hmm. Do I want to go Lando and you, or I could just go Ninetales. And if they want to take terrain control, we could just slow down. Or not terrain control, weather control. We could just slow them down. I do actually like these two. Uh, do we want Glaceon? I definitely want Lando. Do we want Glaceon here? I'm not too sure. I don't really think I want Glaceon. I think I'd rather have Incineroar in this matchup. Yeah, I do like Incineroar, especially up against uh, Ice Rider Calyrex. I mean, Knockoff and Flare Blitz, both going to be super effective. Plus... We are resistance up against ice type moves. So Glacial Lance, we can only swap in there. And if he's not holding clear amulet, which is like a rare instance, then uh, we can just intimidate it. That would be huge if he's not holding clear amulet. But again, that's real rare interest. So I, I don't think so. Or instance, I should say. But they end up going Incineroar into Calyrex. Um, they can fake me out. I wonder who they fake out is a real question. Do they let me get off a War Veil? Or do they let me... Chunk up some big time damage on the Calyrex. That's the real question. That is the real question. 
I wonder. I wonder what they let me do here. I'm really curious to see what they do here. I think they got to fake out me right on. I think you have to. I would love to just full switch pivot because then I could pivot into uh, Incineroar of my own. And I'm going to try to. But again, they might just fake me out. But I'm going to go with Warbell. I'm going to go for a Volt Switch. Let's get off some nice damage. Again, I feel like faking out is a hard choice here for them. I feel like they're sitting here like, hey, who should I fake out? And they're going to choose Ninetales here. Not that big of a deal. I'm going to be able to Volt Switch Pivot. Do some beautiful damage. I probably should have Trav. I was thinking of Trav Slides and just Electro Drift in that slot. But I I, I would have thought that they would have faked out my What's Called instead. I mean, Ride on instead. Do we fake out, or he fakes out my nine tails? Oh, good, no problem. We're not gonna worry about it. And I'm gonna intimidate. When you are clear, which kind of sucks. And I totally forgot I'm Cobra Cork, so that works ten times better for me. So we get off a roar belt, we get off damage, we hard swap out, and he's gonna go for tricker. No big deal. We got off a roar belt and we got off some damage. We love it. So we have our mirror ride on for late game. We still have terror type. Um, do I just go for a U-turn pivot? I mean, I could fake out this turn. Which is honestly in my best interest. So I'm just gonna fake out and I'm just gonna dazzle gleam. Actually, I'm just gonna protect. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna dazzle gleam. <laughs> I'm just gonna dazzle gleam here. And they just cancel battle. So match number two, super quick. They get super upset and they just rage quit the match. So we're sitting 2 0. Moving on to our final match. And that last match lasted. One turn, they faked out my Covert Cloak, Nine Tails, and honestly, I kind of forgot it was Covert Cloak. And then they were just like, nah, well, I'm not having this. I'm leaving. They didn't want none of Jeans here. Jeans was going to smack up on them. That was going to be an easy match for us. But hey, we'll take that win all day. We are sitting 2-0 and going up against Shadow Rider Calyrex. They have Weather Control, which we don't like. They have it on uh, Tornadus. And do I think they're going to lead Tornadus? Maybe. They could. They definitely could. And honestly, I think we just go Nine Tails here. Because if they don't go Weather Control, we can just pretty much get off Roar Veil. Um, they could go into Calyrex, actually, so maybe Incineroar might be a good lead for us. And I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go Incineroar here for the lead. Yeah, I'm going to go Incineroar Nine Tails. Actually, we're not going to go Nine Tails. We're going to go uh, Miraidon, because I can always Volt Switch Pivot if I want to. I'm going to withdraw that. We're going to go Miraidon. We're going to go Nine Tails and Glaceon as our final two choices. I like it. I'm rocking with it. I'm all about it. Clefairy looking a little scary on the support side. And that rhyme. Clefairy looking a little scary. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Clefairy with friend guard is kind of a problem, right? I mean, follow me. Soaks up shots. Any double hitting moves, it will soak it up. But I feel like Miraidon could just do big time damage. So we're kind of hoping that they don't lead Tornadus. Because, I mean, speed's just a little bit of an issue for us. And there's going to be Calyrex here. It's going to be Calyrex, Clefairy. Eh. I mean, I do have Incineroar out on the field, which is pretty good for us. Kind of wish he had Protect, but he is vested, right? I think he's vested. Right on, you vested. I'm forgetting my team's items already. Tim ain't going to do absolutely nothing. And I believe you're vested. Yeah, you're vested. So, I think from here we just we just go for a Snarl, right? And we knock off your Evo Light. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Knock off Evo Light. And then snarl across the board. But we're going to see a Terra pop out here turn one. Oh no, this could be bad. Is this Fairy Terra? Okay, it's Ghost Terra. I mean, that's still kind of bad. But I think there's a chance we soak this. Incineroar definitely soaks it. Unless it's Helping Hand. Okay, it's Follow Me. That's a little, that's a little bit better. Incineroar definitely soaks this. Miraidon with the best. Can you soak this? Miraidon with the best. Please soak this. I really need it to soak it. If not, we, we might just get swept here. Let's see how this one plays. We do so. Okay, cool. The vest. We love the vest. Snarl's able to fly. Minus one now onto the Calyrex, which is good news. Uh, we're going to take away the Evo Light as well. Um, hmm. Bye-bye, Evo Light. Friend Guard definitely helped out the damage. I think it was like a 25% reduction on damage. Um... Now from here, I mean, we could just go for a Flare Blitz, because Flare Blitz will do big time damage on the either. So I'm going to do that, and do I just swap you into, like, Ninetales here? I don't even know. I do want you for later, game. So yeah, I'd rather I'd rather take damage with my Ninetales, so I'm going to swap into my Ninetales here. And I'm going to go for a Flare Blitz, so if you go follow me, we'll just take out the Clefairy. If you don't go follow me, we should be able to take out Calyrex. I hope so. 
I hope so. Now comes a swap, pop a little bit of snow action. Follow me does come out here, so we'll get rid of Clefairy this turn. Clefairy! Astro Blast flying again. No KO is going to be picked up here. You are minus one, which is good news for us. Um, it does a big time chunk on the Ninetales. A bit too much in the Ninetales. We do get rid of Clefairy, but oh man, this ain't good. This is looking like an absolute... We're about to get absolutely smacked on. This Calyrex just outspeeded. We have no first turn priority. We got nothing. And now Urshifu's here with Sucker Punch. Yeah, we got nothing here. Can't re Yeah, this one's pretty much over. We don't get swept though, which is a good time news. But I mean, we have two back end Pokemon. Both slower than. That's the problem. They're both slower than Calyrex. And Calyrex is going to pick up a double KO here. B plus one. It's just bad news for us. It's just bad news. That's what, that's what sucks about some teams like this that can't really counter Shadow Rider Calyrex. Is they can just send out Shadow Rider Calyrex and just do exactly what's happening here. Just spam Astro Barrage. You get the plus one boost. You just keep going. You outspeed. I have no way of stopping this. I don't think any of my Pokemon. What Pokemon didn't I bring? Landorus and Ogre Pond? Yeah, they wouldn't have made a difference here. They wouldn't have made a difference. We maybe should have saved our Incineroar for later and maybe just attacked Clefairy with like Electro Drift. That probably should have been our play. Just try to get rid of Clefairy turn one. And then save Incineroar for a back end to deal with the Calyrex, because that's really our only Calyrex counter. But yeah, this does not look good, unless there is a hot chance here. There is a little ability on my Glaceon called Snow Cloak. We can dodge some moves. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Maybe get some freezes. That'd be sweet if we have like a Glaceon clutch up here. That'd be awesome. That'd be lovely. But yeah, I mean, I have to go for like Electro Drift here. And then we're gonna we're gonna choice into Blizzard here. We're not playing around. We are not playing around. Sucker Punch gonna fly here. I don't like this. This this is double KO. Yeah, Astro Bosch gonna fly. Snow Cloak. Snow Cloak. Hold up. Just give my Glaceon a chance, baby. Just give it a chance. That's all it needs. Show me some freezes. Show me some crits. Give it all to me. Go ahead, Glaceon. Have a day. Have a day, Glaceon. Go ahead. Oh my lord. Are you sashed? You lucky son of a biscuit. You lucky biscuit. Glaceon was about to tear it up. Takes out Calyrex. Would have taken out the Urshfu if we weren't sashed. Only if Snow still had buffets. That would have been sweet. Well, let's see. Who you got cooking here? Who are your final two? Or final one, we should say. Because we're only going to be able to see one. It's going to be Ogre Pond. Wow, yo, Glaceon could rip into that, but he's going to outspeed me, which is the main problem. I still have Terra, so I'm going to Terra. I'm going to Terra. So you're saying we have a chance. If we can Snow Cloak dodge another move here, we might be able to win this. We might be able to win this. Or if we could dodge both. Oh, my lord, because I think both of them do outspeed us. Glaceon's only at 100 speed. Sucker Punch going to fly. Did we Snow Cloak that? Yo, hold up. Yo, hold up. Glaceon! This thing is sturdy. This thing is sturdy. But it probably has Horn Leech now. Dude, these, these, these sturdies and focus ashes are saving them. But Snow Cloak going crazy. Dodging moves left and right. Oh, it's a 1v1. It's a 1v1. Did I have not Thrasslize? I think I had to Thrasslize. It's a 1v1. I thought... Okay, cool. I forgot that we KO Clefairy. Can we dodge another move? Glaceon. Glaceon. We soaked this. We so The greatest Glaceon clutch ever. In Scarlet and Violet to this day. Glaceon goes crazy with Snow Cloak. What a lucky victory for us in match number 3. I don't know how. I don't know when. I'm not going to ask any more questions because that might have just been the greatest Glaceon clutch ever. I'm not going to question it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to walk away with it because that might never happen again for me. That RNG was crazy. Snow Cloak went insane, dodging, I think, three or even four moves that turn or that game, I should say. And then Blizzard just doing a ridiculous amount of damage in the snow with the choice specs. 
Gotta love Glaceon. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.